Hello, killers and kitsune. My name is TV Skyn, and welcome back to Ruined King, where we finally acquired Ari and, uh... I I've gotta say, I'm kinda not feeling her animation. Like, especially her run animation feels really weirdly floaty. And straight, like, it's, it's sort of, like... She's clearly not supposed to, like, look at the way that her butt is, like, jumping up and down. Right, like, look at her ass, like, just, like, absolutely leaping into the air with every single, like, step she takes. And that movement, first of all, it doesn't really propagate through her tail properly, which is weird because there's clearly physics tech on that tail to sort of respond to you turning. But more than that, it doesn't, like, the fact that she's, like, jumping up and down with her legs and her butt is, like, hopping up and down, like, five miles in the air, it doesn't propagate up her shoulders and it doesn't reach her head. Like, her head is basically almost completely steady when she runs. Like, you see how it's barely bobbing up and down at all? And that gives her whole running animation like a really weird, uncanny feeling. I'm really not into this. Um, and I'm also not really into this. Like, her standing pose also is not, like, I don't, that it feels very awkward. And we, like, this is not that's not really a strong pose to me. It looks like she's T-posing, basically, which is partly also due to, like, it's partly due to the angle and how far removed we are from her with the camera, but, like, like, it just, it just, it just isn't a very strong pose from a lot of directions, which is, like, eh. And then there's this. It's, like, this is her throwing her spirit orb, right? And it's, like, it's such a nothing movement. Like, it's, it's a really weak animation, like, especially compared with, like, look at Yasuo throwing his ability around, like, zoom, like, big spin, like, f like, f flying out, throwing this tornado forward, or Braum, like, with that big, like, rearing back and doing that huge slam overhead, down, and then Ari, it's just, like, like, she barely does anything, like, I feel like, like, I really, I gotta say, like, having, having run around with her for, uh, like, a minute and a half before I started recording, I'm kinda disappointed with this. Like, this is, this, this feels really kind of, like, it should have had a few more passes in editing. Like, like, especially, like, that butt bounce, like, the way her ass just hops up and down. Because she's taking these huge strides, right? Like, she's taking these huge running strides forward, which, by the way, like, that running motion, this is something that's kind of a general problem with, with, like, a lot of the animation, is that, like, all the characters have exactly the same move speed, so you can swip, switch between them cle cleanly, and it doesn't change their move speed. And if they didn't have the same move speed, they need that. If they didn't have that, then you would just run around with one character all the time because they move faster, and you would never go around with Braum if he was, like, if he always moved this slow when everyone else moves that fast, right? Um... So there's a good reason why everyone has the same move speed, but the trouble with Ari's run animation is that it looks like she's running a lot faster than she really is. Like, it, it looks like she's trying to sprint, like, really kind of do these long, leaping strides over the ground, but because it's only her ass doing that, like, it's only her legs and ass that are actually doing that big, huge, like, long, striding bounce, and her head and her shoulders are functionally static. It just, it, it, I, it just re looks really awkward to me. Like, and this running animation is not much better because it looks so, like, like when I think about Ari as a personality, like, as a character, who she is, how she behaves, um, especially within the context of Ruined King, I don't think of this at all. Like, this is not, this is, like, a very sort of, it's a very girlish run cycle. Like, girlish in the sense of, like, evoking, like, the, like, the sort of, 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 big air quotes traditional femininity you'd think of which is like a sort of very underplayed slightly timid not very assertive kind of vibe to her and again it's because she does so little like there's so little motion to her movements really um which again like compare it with Yasuo's slow walk cycle like Yasuo's slow walk cycle he like he's got he's like slightly leaned forward he's hunched over a little bit he's got the sword he's got like the 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 hand hovering over the handle like he's constantly like ready for action this is Yasuo is displaying his characteristic and like his his main thing which is that he's the samurai Brom like he has this thing right like where he's like he's got the shield behind him and I'm not 100% sure like that Brom's walk cycle works either when he's moving slowly like when he's moving like this um it it feels a little bit weird that he's holding his shield out behind him 
when he's going at the slow pace. It works better at the, at the fast pace because, like, okay, yeah, he's like he's like holding the shield behind him, pulling it along with his body weight, and that's why he's so like he's hunched over really far forward because he's compensating for the weight of the shield. That all works really well. And then it's like Ari, who's just like either doing this enormous ass bounce that just doesn't propagate into the rest of her character model, or she's doing this like awkward shuffle. Like, look at look at like the way her her chest like wiggles back and forth as she runs like that it's sort of it's sort of almost a mechanical motion right like it's like left right left right left right that wiggle and it's like uh, i i'm really not feeling ari's animation here like i i love this game and i love a lot about it but the animation of ari in the overworld i think it's going to be a lot better in combat but on the overworld yeah no nah, that needed another that needed another few passes through the animation cycles because like this is this is this is not very good, honestly. Like this is actually kind of bad. This feels kind of cheap. Um, cheap, not in not in the sense of being lazy, but cheap as in the sense of the animator didn't have time to do very much. Like the animator was told, "This needs to be out the door. This needs to ship." Uh, it's just like it, it feels like a first pass at an animation that like that should be refined later on. Um, don't know if that's the case. Like I'm sure the animator worked really hard on it. It's just, I'm sorry, the result just doesn't. I'm sorry, it doesn't connect with me. It it really doesn't feel like the character. Like this doesn't feel like that sort of dark, mysterious kind of semi-feral. I could I could turn on my friends and eat their souls anytime, um, but I'm also a charming succubus kind of thing. Like she really doesn't feel like a femme fatale the way she's running here. It really doesn't feel that way. It feels timid. It feels uncertain compared to Ari's r uh, usual confidence. So yeah, no, not feeling that. We're gonna run around with Yasuo instead. Good, you made it back in one piece. You want to see what I have for sale? Can't remember what voices I gave to these guys. Let's chat. Seems like you've been making an impact here. This place isn't one for change, but I will say I for one welcome, welcome it. It's been a long life. It's about time things got interesting. I mean, for a given value of life, I suppose. Anyway, do you got anything good that I might want? <laughs> I can get. <laughs> I can give her a bomb instead. Okay. <laughs> oh, I. Uh, I mean, obviously, I have to. I have to give her a bomb. You're finally back. I've been waiting. I borrowed some preserved fruit from the academy kitchen on my way back. What? You think I'd like the chance to cook for mortals? Go to waste. Yeah, so he's got meals. Lots of them. But they're a little expensive for my tastes. I need that money for potions. Speaking of which, wouldn't you? Would you happen to have? Yes, thank you. Good, 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 good. I am just gonna invest in a few of those, cause, uh, yeah, heroic difficulty. And then there's this thing. It needs an orb, presumably not Ari's orb. So that's a thing. Uh, oh, right, we forgot a chest up here. Let's go get it. And if we can get into a fight and show off Ari's abilities, that wouldn't be too bad either. Hello! Okay. Yeah, it doesn't work on stairs. There we go. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ari already is better animated. And Braum could use some healing, it looks like. I do love that she's <laughs> just that's a bomb. Oh yeah, look at that. Oh, that's way better. And here we have like a much better version of like a sort of like keeping that sort of seductive um it's like like the succubus posing thing, but then like with the nine tails and the floating, like it looks that looks a lot that's a lot stronger in terms of its posing.
shield up there, Braum. Okay, let's see. So, straight up healing. So, Ari is more of an overtime healer. Like, she doesn't have the big instant bursts of healing that Ilawi has, but she has heal over time instead. Okay. Uh, let's just put that in the power lane and get Braum up to full health, shall we? Meanwhile, Yasuo, if you would just like to slice that motherfucker to pieces. Swift like vengeance. Best way to settle an argument. So Ari is someone who has a lot of difficulty generating overcharge by the looks of it. Okay, so that guy can do a decent chunk of damage to Braum, I see. Well, that's annoying. Okay, uh, I want to see Ari's spirit rush. the little bomb. It's very funny. some health potions. That's useful enough. Didn't miss anything else. No. Ari, what could you hope to learn about yourself in a place like this? The less you know about me, the better off you are, swordsman. Is it possible to know less than I do? If we're being honest, Yasuo, the rest of us know a lot less than you. I am the last of my kind. There is no record of another Vasani. The only clues I have led me here. To the Shadow Isles? Alone? Kids these days. I am older than all of you combined. Okay. Still. We need trust to work together, even if it's brief. Especially if we're fending off certain death. 
These sunstones, I've carried them my whole life, never knowing why or where they came from. A clue led me to Bilgewater, and a merchant there suggested Gangplank recently bought a sunstone from him. A merchant? Do not question me. We will help each other and be done with it. You don't trust her, do you? She is older than all of us combined. No, I don't trust her. I do sense conflict in her, but I am not fearful. We shall keep our heads up regardless. Yeah, but we're not going to look at her animations, because cause I don't like them. We are, however, going to take advantage of her orb. There we go. Better. Combat animation. Good. We need to kill the exploding wisps as soon as possible. Okay. Uh... Yeah, ignite them. Because then Ari can kill... Ooh, that's a cool character design on that, uh... Ghost... Shirtless ghost monk guy. Oh, the middle one needs to die. It needs to die now. Because if it goes off, it'll probably kill Ari. Call of the storm. Ugh, I hate those little things. They do so much damage when they go off. Ah, oh, shit. I can't finish it in time, can I? Nope. Okay. Oh, yes, I can. Spirit Rush. Just a memory now. Hit like a hunter. There we go. Huh. Oh, that was a little close. Jonath's journal, five of nine. Oh, blessed is my wisdom. The water was far better on the rocky path, not tainted by the spider grove. It was still heavy with a taste of stagnant soil, but at least more natural. Of course, all blessings come with a curse here. The specter is back once again, staring at me from the water's reflection, lipless teeth and black eyes. I'm forced to look away or shut my eyes when I try to draw water. Why do I persist? This is a dead land with dead people to match. I saw a swamp as I followed the stream. I thought about exploring it, but I noticed strange lumbering shapes in the mist. The river branched again, this time presenting a choice to continue upstream or go down a new route. I shall go downstream, as people would likely be near the sea. Yeah, he's dead, and he just hasn't realized it. Poor guy. 
Or at least he's pretty heavily zombified. Let's see. That way, then. Okay. Oh, okay. Are you sure you want to face Brom? That's, mm, that's not ideal. Uh, right, let's kill the spider first, then. Take your eyes off me. Sure you're ready? Let's see that execution, Ari. Yeah, that rules. Doesn't heal Braum that much, though. Let's see if we can get to Ari's level 2 ultimate. I want to see it. My shield feels a little heavy. Yeah, let's, uh, let's pour a potion in you there, big guy. Nice. I like that. That's a big, nice AoE ult. With a lot of healing on it as well. That is good. Upgrade point. Ooh, new upgrade tiers. Yes. Oh, let's have a look at that. So, apply Sunder. Adds a bleed. Ooh. Projectile defense applies to the entire party. Next speed lane ability will be faster. Lasts an additional turn. Ah, pushes allies forward. Ooh. 20% more crit chance from items. That doesn't really make a difference with Yasuo right now. Doubles the damage of tapped when first applied. Add Sunder, okay. Increases evasion of all allies by 12%. That's actually not, that's kind of, that actually kind of rules. Increases crit chance of next speed lane ability. Aha. Uh -huh. Increases critical chance by 20% for one turn. It's not bad. Let's see. Ilawi. Increases healing. Ah. Stacks three times. Ooh, that's not bad. 
Power lane, recovery time decreased, spawns a tentacle. Taunt for one less turn, but reduce damage while taunting by 20%. Mm. Taunt for an extra turn instead. Okay, th that's both things that make her better at, at doing taunts, basically. Taunts an extra turn, reduces damage by 20 Okay, that's exactly the same thing, then. Mm hmm. Treasure chest with a new tunic that Yasuo might be able to use. It's more defensive, okay. When the spirits in this place cry out, I can feel what they lost. I can see the isles as they once were. You can see the blessed isles. They were beautiful, but so strange. My ancestors must have felt like such outsiders here. Jonath's journal, six of nine. Nice. Shadows and specters, I hate them. The demon thinks to trick me, to convince me that it's my reflection, but I know better. It is the thing that steals my rest. I have not slept more than a few minutes at a stretch since I saw it under the, my raft at the sea. I do not know how to destroy this evil thing, but I will find a way. Something pushes me onward towards the coast. Perhaps my soul is guiding me to find this monster and destroy it. To feed on its flesh just as it has fed on my sleep. It will not win. I am following this new route downstream. The river will take me to the vile monster. That definitely sounds like he's completely fine and there's nothing to worry about. Oh, there's a bit of lore down there. You're coming all the way over here? Okay. Hmm. Jonath's journal, eight of nine. I did it. At long last, my torment is over. I found the demon on the shore. A fat and foolish demon. When caught in the open, it pretended not to see me as I snuck up on it, but I knew better. It took the shape of a healthy person from some other land, just arrived on a boat. It thought I was a fool. I got close and fell upon it with a heavy stone. Its head snapped and cracked, but I didn't stop. I would be free. When I was sure it was dead, I ate its flesh raw. Such elation, rich warm meat. I felt my strength return to me at last. All that strength it had stolen from me in my sleep. I had what was mine. Yeah, he's a ghoul. Poor guy. Whoa, 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 whoa. Ow, Jesus. What the hell? To the Looking good. <laughs> this will do. For now. Okay, laser statues then. How annoying. Where am I going? Ooh, away from the lore. The lore is over there. Nope. Along with him. Hello. Don't start what you can't finish. Oh, Braum is going to take some hits. Yeah, I guess we just build up. Uh, I mean, mm, maybe we should kill the executioner first, actually. Let's see what you've got. It's the more difficult thing, but uh... every time we kill another ally of his, he gets a big damage attack that I don't want to have to deal with. Oh, 
Watch them, mustache! Yo! <laughs> Fucking hell. Oh, he does entirely too much damage, to be quite honest. Patience, patience. Okay. Oh, that's a lot of damage. That's a lot of damage. You are my shield. Knock him down. Okay. Enough out of you. Get some shielding going on Braum there. Yikes! Swift like vengeance. Okay. That's a bit of a tough battle. Damn. Heroic difficulty is starting to kick in. I'd stay down. Might be worth going back to Bilgewater soon to try and stock up on things, I guess. Still searching. Seven of nine. I found the sea again. 
I hate this prison of a land, but at least I'm adjusting. I no longer stumble over rocks as I once did, and can now move quite safely and stealthily when I need to. Good thing, too, is there have been many ghosts downstream. None of them were the demon that haunts me. I passed a town where I swear I saw glowing apparitions going about their daily lives as if they still had lives. But I know a trap when I see one. I stayed away. I will murder the demon that haunts me through the water. Tri-barrel flintlock pistols. Are they better than what she's got? Nope, then I don't care. Let's see, what else is here? There's some more lore, and some more lore, and some more lore. And some other stuff as well. Hold on, I'm sensing something. Hidden tricks and traps, but nothing hides from my orb. Shall we continue then? Yeah, don't do that. Dick. The heart is the strongest muscle. Yay? <laughs> Yay? Really? Forgive me. Well, they suddenly showed up in huge numbers, didn't they? My diary by Elia, age six and three quarters. Dear diary, today I saw a real princess. She was tall and pretty and had armor and a pointy spear that was even taller than uncle. Papa sho shoved me inside and told me to keep the door closed, but I wanted to see the princess and I couldn't see the princess from my window, so I didn't open the door, but I opened the window and climbed down the sticky vines, but my shoes came off. I picked some of Papa's tallest red flowers from the garden and sneaked up to the lady when the girls were talking about the sick lady. Then everyone got mad, but I just wanted to give her the flowers, so then I fell over and all the flowers stuck to my back and I couldn't reach them and everyone was shouting at me and I, ran, and I ran away. Papa says I'm grounded. That was probably Callista. Come to the Shadow Isles to secure a cure for Isolde. As poor of an idea as it turned out to be. This is one of the Blessed Isle vaults. I heard of their beauty and legacies. Seeing them in this state is disheartening. That one remains intact at all is remarkable. The ruination lived up to its name. Which begs the question, can we get it open? What a beautiful door! I love beautiful doors! <laughs> yes you do, Brom. Okay, there's always a way in. Let's look around. Let's just have Brom punch his way in. That usually works. Well, isn't that interesting? These markings... There is... something familiar about them. Can you decipher their meaning? There are so many memories in my mind. So many lives. I can feel something... reaching to me. Spirits? Did they speak to you? No. The stones are resonating with a memory. I can't picture it, but I can feel it. Maybe there really are answers here. Right, okay. There. Lit up all of them. Oh, it wants me to replicate the... Okay, so we have the four and the one. Right, right, okay, okay. Probably. It wants me to do that. Four in the one, and then the one on the lower corner. 
opposite to the thing. Yeah. Okay, so those three. Which means like this. And then... Like that. Hey, that was easy. The funny thing about that is that it's both an, a deeply unnecessarily complicated lock for any kind of practical use, and also not a puzzle that's actually very difficult. The mist is thick with spirits who died in the ruination, and it carries the breath of their loss, their despair. That makes sense. There's nothing colder than the feeling of defeat. Yonath's journal. I heard a new sound today. The bones of the demon were freshly out of marrow, so I had to search for new sustenance. The rations in the boat were clearly poisoned. Too good to be true. So I tossed them in the sea to avoid temptation. The new sound I heard was strange chains or keys. I haven't heard the rattle of metal in so long. Perhaps another specter is disguising itself as a person seeking to torment me. No. I will kill it like they killed the other. I am the true survivor. Tomorrow I shall enter the strange clearing where I heard the chains. If there is another demon, I will eat it. And then he met Thresh, and then his short reign as demon entity of the Shadow Isles was over. Huh. Okay, so the Shadow Vaults are clearly the way we're supposed to go. Which, of course, means that first I need to go to all the places we're not supposed to go. Oh, wait, Ari? Yeah, I... Right, I remember. Ooh. What even are those? I mean, really? Sup? No one is promised tomorrow. I am. Me. I, I, I'm definitely promised tomorrow. Okay, vault sentries. Let's see. True strike deals moderate damage to each champion. Okay, that's annoying. Uh, increases allies' crit chance 100%. Oh, God. Right. So, removes all debuffs from allies. Uh, that's fucking annoying. And heals for 28 and deals 28 damage to attackers on hit. Oh, my God. Oh, that's annoying. Yeah, they're just gonna cleanse off the... Yeah. Very, very annoying. Okay, uh... That only hits one enemy, so that's not really gonna be that effective here. Because if I kill the Corrupted Priest, he's just gonna heal the sentries, which is gonna be annoying.
Looking good. Let's just get rid of him. I always see the job done. Yank the thing. Fuck off. So that thing's just going to be laser focused on me, I see. Great. Lost at sea. When I set out that day, I expected a short journey. But the storm came out of nowhere. It roiled and churned like a living thing chasing me, and I could not outrun it. I remember crawling from the wreckage onto the black sand beach, and I don't know how I survived. I'm hesitant to call out to others in passing and hide myself when spirits are about, though I swear the latter can see me. They have so far left me to my own devices. Those I am bold enough to approach ignore me, though I plead for passage or to buy a ship, promising to pay upon my safe return. I fear I am cursed. I am desperate to return. Please come and find me. Seek the rotten grove to the north of the island, where the roots tangle in boggy marshes. That is where I am hiding. I pray this letter reaches you. Yours, X. Yeah, I'm afraid it didn't there, kiddo. Ow! Jesus! Fuck off! Idol of the Grove. That would be a thing for Ilawi. Heals 38 health every turn. That's actually pretty damn good. Like, especially if you want her to tank. Um, but we don't want her to do that at the moment, so... Yeah, Jesus Christ. That was a hell of a thing. Okay, environmental traps suck. Didn't need to use all those healing potions. Great! Yes, well, I can come back if you wish to be alone. Uh, I don't mind the company. Unless it's Braum. <laughs> oh, he, but he's nice to you, though. <laughs> he is spirited. And you're polite. Ari, there's something I've been meaning to ask you. What is it? Back in Bilgewater. Why did you leave without me? I vowed to protect you. I was afraid that staying with me would put you in danger. It comes with the territory. Not danger from our enemies. From me. I'm not afraid of you. I know. That's why I had to leave. Ari. Yeah, Yasuo is very stupid. It's true. <laughs> like he is very dumb. He would not. He would not see it coming. Little fox, can Brom do anything for you? Thank you, Brom, but I'm fine. I've grown accustomed to sleeping in caves, and without company. <laughs> My friend, beds are too small for Brom. <laughs> I too prefer the expensive cradle of the wilderness. 
The night Yasuo and I arrived in Bilgewater was the first night I've slept in a bed since I can remember. He cares for you a great deal, you know. When I met Yasuo, finding you was all he spoke of. It's why he came to the Shadow Isles. Uh, but uh, let's keep that between us. I don't know what to say. Then say nothing. Just know you are among friends. Rest now, little fox. And remember, we are stronger together. Thank you, Brom. I am glad to call you my friend. Brom is the best friend. He's everyone's friend all the time. Ooh, teleport pad is rife with the stench of black mist death runs deep here for maokai it is death we must repel at any cost a temporary reprieve all will eventually drown choking on the waters of life hmm. now he's a philosopher he is worthy Hilawi <laughs> sort of desperately trying. Yes, I know, I know, he's thick, I know, but he's worthy. We have to. Sorry, like my goddess says. <laughs> so he's trying to make excuses for this <laughs> idiot water boy. <laughs> ah. This damp edgelord. Anyway, let's head back to Bilgewater and sell some of the many, many fish we've been catching. Everyone is still alive around here? Cool. Any rumors to buy? Dangerous beings from the mist have appeared. Learn more from Phileas. Okay, a new bounty has gone up. Okay. Check the bounty board. I can do. Yoink. Rogue Captain Flynn, looking for a wee bit of help taking out a no good scoundrel who's grown too big on his breeches. <laughs> Sorry to the nation of Scotland. Captain Flynn of the Jagged Hooks has gone rogue, pilfering a set of plans drawn up by our very own dearly departed leader, Gang Plankin. We would very much like them recovered. While the sentimental value cannot be overstated, there will be a cash reward for anyone who could teach Flynn some manners. Okay. No idea where he'll be at, but uh, sure. What, I only got four? Really? Jeez. Anyway, you will buy some things, right? 72 black marks, that's better. Man, those, those are like not even good weapons. Why would you buy those? And that's not really that powerful armor. No, the thing to spend spend it on would be these rune shards, I guess. Or, of course, le skin. Ooh. Or this lighthouse key and Caulfield's warhammer, I guess. Okay. And for the rest of it, we just uh, sink it into tomes of knowledge, I guess. Of which you can buy a lot. Okay, I see. Uh, okay. Uh, one for Yasuo, Ari, and Braum each. Caulfield's Warhammer. That looks like an important thing. But anyway, cool. We have the lighthouse key now. We. Oh, uh, I don't have enough chunks of things. Uh. Begin with three stacks of Essence Thief. I think we'll take that. Wait, did we just buy a hammer? Do we have any use for a hammer? The Collector said its creator could channel magic using it, and it doesn't seem to respond to my wind. Maybe Ari could try. This belongs to me now. A hammer for you? Aren't you more of a blade guy? You'd talk less with a harpoon in your neck, Captain. Okay, so I guess that is an important item to pike. 
for 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 a reason. Okay, well, I guess we'll find out what that is later. Let's see. To the shadow vault. All right, that was a quick little visit to Bilgewater, ish. As quick as anything goes in this game. What's up? I'm sensing a fight. Good instincts, Ari. Rack Mind deals heavy damage. Applies haunting dreams, increasing all damage taken by 50% for three turns. Fuck you. Fuck you. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. Nom, 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 nom. No joy in victory. A little joy in victory, Yasuo. Like, lighten up, dude. Huh, another one of those books. Wonder what it does. Vault treasures, one of three. Offram took the deal. Said it's no problem if one or two of the vault's items are misplaced. Bit of a catch, though. Offram might be willing to fudge the inventory a bit after the fact, but the man's an absolute coward. Gave us the schematics for a few of the quieter wings and the guard schedules for the next few days. Better if he's not involved. Less cut for him. Place is a maze, but I'm happy for the challenge. Been out of the game for too long. Didn't get into this business to manage folks. Nothing beats the thrill of pulling off a well-planned operation. How about it? No, you two got real cozy after we retired, but I know there's a reason you didn't move too far from the vaults. Crim. Aw, oh, they were planning themselves a little heist. I'm sure that went well for them. Ooh, what are you? Mist Elemental. Oh, look at those guys. They're cool. They have a lot of health, though. Eh. Let's see. Corrupting Mist. Applies a stack of Mist Corruption to attack us on hit. Deals 50 damage per turn for four turns. Oh, god damn it. Okay. And it's... Okay, so it can detonate those stacks to deal... Oh, my god. Okay. Well, mm, fine. Rather you didn't. Like how about how about how about you don't do that and then we say you did. We just pretend. Okay, so they don't really bother attacking one character at a time. They attack everyone, no matter what. So having Braum tank is actually kind of pointless against these guys. That's not the news I wanted to hear, but okay. Uh, Here we go. It's good to have friends. Yeah, don't like that. Even 
Yeah, that's a bit troublesome. Okay. Much prefer if you didn't do that. Okay, those bastards are a little bit troublesome. Now we get to see Pike's final upgrades for his basic abilities. Let's see. 40% chance to apply stealth. Oh yeah, no, that's instantly the one. 80% chance to get into stealth for free. Yep, absolutely. What are the other ones? Increases the chance to enter stealth to 60%. Ooh. It's not too bad either. Increase crit chance and then apply a bleed on top. Yeah, that would be pretty good. <laughs> a communication between Reginald Velkin and Robert Velkin. Brother, it has been nearly three weeks since I set out from the fair isle lands of Fulgrin to these haunted Shadow Isles. I'm beginning to suspect that your informant's claims of hidden treasure were little more than besotted ramblings. However, with the family coffers dwindling, an expedition to the Isles felt like a reasonable answer. One of the servant boys, Elric, claimed to have seen a dark figure in the mists. A children's tales, fanciful imaginations, I'm sure. But try as I might, I could not let the child's tale out of my mind. Was he perhaps attempting to distract me from a petty theft? <laughs> I shall have to interrogate the boy. Clearly, the excuse was the invention of a youthful and frivolous mind. I will write again later, hopefully with good news. Send my best to the boys and to mother and father, your brother, Reginald Welkin III. Oh, that's pretty bad juju right there. Let's not go there right now. Okay, that's also bad juju. Uh, those are those are some rancid vibes. Oh, your orb can dispel the shadow magic. That's nice. Like those are some real nasty vibes. Okay, don't want to deal with that right now. Oh my god, are they gonna shoot at me? Yes, they are. Ah, it's ping pong ball. Oh my god. Oh, who designed this? Who came up with it? Name yourself. I just want to talk. Oh, come on. Why can't I go past it? Ugh. I think not. This will be fun, yes? Okay, three wave battle. Warms my heart. I knew I could count on For the next wave, rather. So. Oh, it's one of those fish guys. And is that a ghost yordle? The imp explodes, killing itself and dealing heavy magic damage based on its current health. Okay, so probably can't prevent that thing from blowing up, but I can at least damage it so that it doesn't do as much. Uh, okay. 
And that- f oh, it's summon- oh god, it can just summon one when it wants to. Oh my fucking god, I hate you. Oh, I hate you. I hate you, I hate you, I hate you, I hate you all! Oh my god, okay. Alright. Alright, fine. Fuck you. But yeah, I made the right choice using Brom's ult there. Okay, how do I want to play this? Yeah, it's gonna explode, so there's no point attacking it. Ugh, sorry, I'm still snotty. Okay, I guess we get rid of the lost one then. That's the play. Oh Lord. Stay still. And he just does AoE all the time. Okay. Yeah, he... No point taunting, because he does damage to everyone, so... Got you in the palm of my hand. Just slap him with a bomb. Yield. Oh, and here comes a shitty little imp. Great. The huntress has quick as a fox. Now there's a point to taunting. Except not that much really, is there? Pushing it back doesn't do anything. Yep, yeah, shield everyone. Ah, just barely not enough to kill. Die, die a lot, die.
It sucked so bad. Still searching. <laughs> and of course, there's more. Always more. Yeah. Okay, let me just, um... Yeah, can I put that on Yasuo's whatever the hell he's wearing right now? Let's get in on Ari's as well, because just that sustainability. Real nice to have when I don't have a Lowy in the party. So what the heck is that glowing thing? Are they guarding those switches? I bet I can hit the switches with my orb. Oh, right, right, right. Okay, so I need to go and do that thing over there. Right, okay. Oh, God, more of this bullshit. Oh, my God. How would I even get past those? Oh, like that. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> fuck off. Eh. And now we have to fight another one of those. They suck. Okay. At least it's not a multi-wave fight this time. Anyway, he's going to summon himself a shitty little... Yeah, no points setting up a taunt. Just gotta chow down. I always see the job done. There we go. Well, got that door open. Okay, so that was not a unique enemy in that vault. Didn't think so, but, you know, you never know. I'm so snotty. I don't want to be snotty. Oh, Lord. Okay, let's just get you out of range of those other two. There's death on the wind. Take you all on one at a time. Probably no way around that multi-wave battle. Fifty percent more damage, like Jesus Christ. Hasaki. 
Knock him down. Shadow Imp? Where the hell did that come from? Make it look easy. Okay.
What do we have here? A communication between Reginald Velkin and Robert Velkin, two of three. Brother, have you heard of the story of the Warden of the Isles? A brutish hulking figure, some spectral animosity with taken ghastly flesh. I'd been thinking upon this story after the servant boy returned to me and swore again that what he said was true. Naturally, I could not tolerate insolence from my cabinet, and thus banished him from the caravan. If he cannot manage Noxian stoicism, he should enjoy the mists alone. However, I stole away from the caravan in the night, intending to investigate the boy's raving, and instead found something quite extraordinary. A relic of an ancient civilization. Wrapped in cloth, softly glowing with some ruining arts I could not fathom, but most importantly, a prized piece of antiquity. Brother, with this, I stand to bring the light back to our family name. We shall become the envy of the noble houses, or what's left of them after the betrayer split the throne. We'll write again soon, your brother Reginald. Right, so yellow sign, magenta. On the side is the symbol instructions. Uses red, green, blue color scheme and adds colors of two different types to create second. Yes? What's that supposed to do though? Okay, so I need blue and cyan. And red and yellow. Okay. Blue shard. Yoink. Green and red. To get the yellow. Okay, multi-wave battle. I'll have to deal with it. That's how we do it. And now there's these guys. Okay, what are you all about? On death begins to rebuild itself, will resurrect with 50%. Oh my god, okay. Right, so we kill everything else first. So that just means these guys all need to be defeated, like, close to each other. Oh, 
Holy shit. Don't attack Ari. Don't attack Ari. Don't just immediately attack her. Thank you. Okay, all right, you bastards. These fights, though, the game is definitely ramping up difficulty, which I appreciate. All right, down here, then. Except, ooh, what's this thing? On the pedestal rests a dull gem sturdily fixed to the pedestal. It emits a low buzzing sound and attempts to touch it result in a light shock. Okay. So that's a thing for later. Oh, cool. Ooh, that's new. Hello, birdie. The wind guides me. You don't summon shadow imps, do ya? No, okay, good.
Okay, that mitigates their damage. Although it doesn't eliminate it. Ouch. Focus. That's how we do it. There we go. Jeez. Tough bird. Missive to the Grand General. I only barely escaped with my life. I couldn't save Loris. When it all went to madness, he fell and tangled himself in a massive web. I grabbed his notebook and ran, tripping on a web and bone. Screams echoed behind me. There was a sound of scuttling legs. I felt a sharp pain in my heel, some horrible mouth clipping and slicing at me as I tumbled. I've applied dressing, but it still aches like a burn. I must get this map and notebook back. I must find a way out of this wretched place. The path we marked is blocked at every turn by mist wraiths. I've found temporary reprieve in the vaults. The sounds of chittering go grow louder. I can still hear it, almost feeling crawling over my skin. I'll find a way out after I... Close my eyes just a moment. I must preserve energy and rest this leg. I have to return these documents to the Grand General. It's my duty. I still have my duty. Didn't go quite as uh, as you'd hoped there, huh? Okay. It doesn't look like... Hmm... It doesn't look like there's any kind of natural break coming up anytime soon. So, things being what they are, the, I've been recording for about three hours now, and I'm gonna have to edit that down a little bit to be more suitable for an episode. So, if you've enjoyed hanging out in the world of the Ruined King with me, you can hit the like, comment, and or subscribe buttons down below. That'll let you know when new episodes are coming out, and, you know, it's helpful for me in the algorithm and stuff. Um, if you want to watch things on this channel a little bit early, if you want early access and also 
access to the Discord. Um, then memberships are available on this channel, which will look like you can check the playlists for the various things that I'm doing. And if there's episodes there that you can't watch yet, they'll be members only. And you can watch them immediately if you become a member. But you absolutely do not have to. Thank you very much for watching. Remember to wear a mask and wash your hands. Take such vaccines as are necessary and try to act with solidarity towards those who are worse off than yourself. Like me, who is struggling with a cold right now and it sucks and my voice is nasally and I don't like it.